Hello! To configure the extensions you have contracted with Neotel, you must access your configuration panel, pbx.neotel2000.com. In the dark column on the left, click on Configuration. Then, click on the button Extensions. Here will appear the extensions that you have contracted with us. In this table, you can see, on one side, the numbers of the extensions you have contracted with us. On the other hand, the word you will use to identify each extension can be, for example, the name of the agent who will use that extension. In this column will appear the department which the extension belongs to, for example, development. These two fields will appear in the statistic report that you could get later, identified by the words you have assigned to it. From the column outgoing number, you can see the number this agent will use to identify the calls he makes manually. The hidden column indicates you if the previous number will be visible or will be shown as hidden in the calls to customers that are made manually. The force column must be checked if you have an outgoing number configured. The voicemail column simply indicates whether the extension currently has voicemail on or off. The next column, Diversions, allows you to view what type of diversions are currently active. To configure an extension, click the View button. From this window, you can configure the aspects we have seen until now. Look at the bold headings. In the name section, write the name you want to appear as the extension identifier. If you want to activate the voicemail in the extension you are configuring, check the box Active within the category Voicemail. In the section Email, write the email address where you want to receive the messages from the voicemail box. In the section Outgoing Number, you must check the option Force for any number to be indicated. From the next section, Number, indicate the telephone number that the clients will see. If you want the number to be shown as a hidden number, you must leave the option Hidden ticked. In the Agent section, you can configure the agent that will use that extension. In the User section, write the name of the agent, and in the Password section, the password that your agent should introduce to log into his Neotel panel. The Type section refers to the permissions that this agent will have depending on the type of agent you choose. To activate a type of diversion, simply write in the corresponding text box the telephone number you want to divert the call to and leave the option Active checked. Finally, the Tandem section allows you to answer calls on a mobile phone. Just fill in the destination box with the mobile number you choose. Finally, with the buttons that appear at the end of the window, you can cancel the changes, remove the agent you are editing, or save the changes you have made so far. When you configure the extensions you have available, you'll be ready to configure and launch a campaign, which we'll learn in the next video. Thank you very much for trusting Neotel.